have been waiting for. The match between Mario Milano, who's in the blue corner, and also Bulldog Brown. There you can see Milano and James J. Dillon is on his way in to the ring, followed by Bulldog Brower carrying with him the Austro-Asian Brass Knuckles title belt. Walking over towards the studio audience is Bulldog Brower walking up the stairs now and James J. Dillon, a very excited James J. Dillon, gets up onto the apron of the ring as we move over now with the Brass Knuckles title belt that Dillon has in his keeping and introducing to you in the red corner, it is the Austro-Asian Brass Knuckles title holder, Bulldog Brower, his opponent in the blue corner, a part holder of the Austro-Asian tag team title with Larry O'Day, it's Mario Milano. And this match should be one of the hardest fought matches ever seen on television because Milano said to Tony Colone, give me a match with the Bulldog because I want to try and stop his momentum. And Mario Milano is one man that has tangled with the heaviest, the roughest, the toughest and the most scientific since he's been setting himself out in this career of World of Championship Wrestling. Now Milano has the Bulldog back in the blue corner. The Bulldog covers himself up with those arms as Milano backs away. Now they come in, referee's hole. Onto the wrist lock goes Milano. The Bulldog stands his ground. Milano forced back onto the ropes. The Bulldog this time. There he goes, the big punches by the Bulldog, forcing Milano down onto his knees. And the Bulldog fights tough, he fights mean. And I can recall King Curtis saying he's fought him in, bull, in, in Bulldog territory here in Australia, in bar brawls, street brawls, dark alleys all over the world. And believe you me, he is a tough character. An animal when he gets inside that ring, if you can call him that. And when you look at his face, when he starts throwing those punches, no wonder they call him the Bulldog. He kicks, he gouges, he punches, and so does Milano. But he punches by the book as he backs away now, Milano, being kicked around that shot thigh area and around the cartilage area so long, he just grabbed hold of that left arm. Now look at the face of the Bulldog. Oh, and you can hear that from here, right on the bugle that went, and a headbutt by Mario Milano. Side headlock, and a punch to the mouth again by Mario Milano. Works on the wrist, but Bulldog goes downstairs, upstairs with a forearm. This is a match, a beautiful match of real tough courage, courage shown here by both men as Milano hits the canvas again. Bulldog accompanies him down there. The referee goes down, one leg on the ropes by the Bulldog. The crowd screaming. Dylan running around the ring. Again, the referee's on the blind side because the Bulldog had that leg on the bottom strand of rope and the crowd going wild here. The referee can sense something going on. Three minutes. Three minutes gone and the referee again. He's called for a break and Dylan doesn't like it. Let's get a shot of Dylan, will you? He certainly is upset, James J. Dylan. And look at him hitting that canvas as he disagrees with the umpire, the referees. There I go, umpires. Football season over, ladies and gentlemen. But the referee's decision is Bra Brower now has a chin lock on to Mario Milano. Dylan looking closely now at his uh, man inside the ring as the Brower has a chin lock still on to Mario Milano. Milano on his knees trying to get that big bicep and the forearm of Browers away from his chin and of Dylan on the outskirts look at that face he's telling him to pull more look at Dylan will you have a look at that screen of Dylan shouting instructions from the outside the ring and Brower always looking for his manager to see if he's doing exactly as he requires now Milano trying to find a way out the referee putting the question here to Milano he gets away this time the Bulldogs insane look at him follows up from behind, hits into the kidney area, and a headbutt by the Bulldog. Milano with a beautiful forearm, and the Bulldog stood there. He took that, and he'll take it again. A kick to the stomach, headbutt by Milano, and the canvas said hello to Bulldog. Brower, now he's pleading for mercy. Milano's on fire. The crowd are right behind Milano. Dylan's telling him to go back. Dylan's telling the referee to move him back, so he gets off the ropes. <coughs> Dylan moved over as the Brower moved over towards the blue corner. The referee talking to uh, James J. Dillon. Watch closely as the crowd were hurtling abuse at Bulldog Brower. And now Milano in boxing stance, fist clenched. He's been told to open those fists by the referee. Now Brower goes in and meets up with a wrist lock, Japanese wrist lock on two. 
Mario Milano, the strength here of Bulldog should tell out, but Milano's also a little taller, which makes it a little bit more difficult for the Bulldog to put him down. Five minutes. Jack Little, five minutes gone. And look at the face on Brower. Will you get a shot of that face of Bulldog Brower? He's got his right arm on the rope there, using it for leverage. The referee cannot see the right hand of Browers on that ropes. And the referee will immediately call for a break. If he can see, he's putting that hand on the ropes. And Dylan's telling the referee what he's doing and what he's not doing. Dylan's idea is to distract the referee's attention. You can see for yourself. There's nothing I can do about it. My job is to commentate on the matches. The referee is there. He's the third man in the ring to put himself in the right position. Now the bulldog goes down the canvas, has those leg scissors on the arm there. The arm scissors on to Mario Milano. Pulling back on that wrist of Milano is the bulldog. You can see him dragging it back there. And look at the shot there from our camera boys as we're really going close now, close to the bottom strand of ropes. Look at that chest on Bulldog Brower. Sweating profusely he is. And there's a shot of James J. Dillon walking around the outskirt of the ring, sucking on that big cigar of his. As the referee watches here, Milano has got the shoulders of Bulldog pin, but the Bulldog bit Milano and comes in and buckles him up. Milano comes back, side headlock, takes him off the ropes. There's a charge by Milano, and Milano came off second best as the Bulldog hammers him with a punch to the side of the face. And Milano, a headbutt by the Bulldog. Milano on his knees now in the red corner, chin locked by the Bulldog. And look at that filthy face of the Bulldog, will you? Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but by gee, when you look at it, it certainly is animalistic. The Bulldog Brower said it's Bulldog country here in Australia. Ask the bum! Ask the bum. And Dylan said, ask him, ask him. The referee puts the question now to Mario Milano, but it's a negative from Milano. Can Milano come out of this? Look at the right arm of Milano, will you? It's shaking, quivering. Oh, and he's bitten the ear of Milano. Brower. Got the ear of Milano right between those teeth. And Milano has got to come out of this somehow. And there goes the bulldog again out of that ear of Milano. Milano now tries to come out of this, clenches the fist. The bulldog said no, but he throws a forearm and another one. And the bulldog takes him down by pulling on the trunks of Mario Milano. They're at centre ring. And what a match this has been on World Championship Wrestling. Eight minutes, eight minutes. Eight minute mark we've been going now. As Bulldog Brower has Milano on his back, centre ring. One of the toughest and roughest matches I've ever called on World Championship Wrestling. That Bulldog, he doesn't care how he wins. And boy, has he psyched himself up for the big match this coming week with the Austro-Asian heavyweight wrestling champ in Ronnie Miller. And Miller... OK, he knows what it's all about. He can see the tactics used by Dylan also, Brower. He'll be ready. He's taken two on today, defeated them both. And there's no doubt in my mind the Australian champ will be still there when the chips are flying this coming week. And look at that kick. And another foot stomp by the Brower. And another one to Milano, who rolls around the canvas towards the red corner. Arm locked by the Brower. But he's pleading for mercy for Milano. Don't hold it, Milano. Throw it, will you? And he throws it. Good on you, boy. In he goes again. I shouldn't be as biased as what I am, but there's a headbutt from Bulldog Brower. I hate to see Loudmouse get up there and plead for mercy. Look at him. There he goes again. Now Milano pushes the referee away as the Bulldog goes back into the red corner. And he said no fist. Dylan jumped up to the apron. And coming in from behind now is the Bulldog. And the crowd can sense something foul going on here from Brower as he moves in towards Milano. Milano takes him by the head. And look at that for a headbutt. Boy, it was a ripper. He stands his ground, the Bulldog. He won't go down. And Milano comes back, hits him with a forearm. This time he's down, and Milano goes with him. Body press. How unlucky can you be, Mario? As he lays a fist here, ready to put him down. But he's got one leg over the ropes, the Bulldog, and the referee said break. There's a foot stomp by Milano, and he goes down again. And the Bulldog really in trouble here now as Milano looks to be finishing a lot stronger. Rolls the wrist around. Only time will tell. Bulldog put in the whip by the... Oh, he goes up over the top of the second turnbuckle and pleads here. He's covering up. The Bulldog's covering up. 
suplex by Milano, rolls him over. The count of two by the referee, Milano now. Unlucky on two occasions, comes in now. He's got a forward chantry here on two. Bulldog Brower, Milano, taller of the two. Bulldog heavier, Milano now. Can he finish? Can he finish on from this position he's in? The time, Jack. Ten minutes. Ten minutes we've been going in this match. And this is an extended time limit match. One fall, 15 minutes. Extended time limit. Now the referee calls for a break because the legs of Bulldog Brower are underneath the bottom strand of ropes. I don't know about you people at home being excited, but I certainly am because the tactics used by Dylan and Brower for so long could come undone here because Milano asked for this match. He's got it. And there he is pleading for mercy again. Have you ever seen anything like it before in your life? It's easy to talk than to get up there and give the action as Milano is proving now that he is as strong as any of them. And look at him go, laying those punches on and a headbutt by Milano. And there goes the groggy Brower back, punching into midair. And that's a buckle up job by Milano and a high knee lift by Milano. Brower back to his feet, side headlock and a biff to the beat by Milano. And Brower, this could be the finish of him. Hope you're watching this, Ronnie Miller. This is the action you've got to give him next week. As we see the abdominal stretch now by Milano. The abdominal stretch. Can the Bulldog come out of it? Yes, he has. Oh, boy. 11 and a half minutes. You heard it from Jack Little, 11 and a half minutes. Coming in from behind now is Milano. On to the Bulldog. He takes him now over, rolls him around, hits him to the canvas. Two. Oh, close. That hand was halfway down. I can imagine King Curtis now watching on with Larry O'Day at this fellow because there's going to be some big action this week in World Championship Wrestling. And, of course, King Curtis and Larry O'Day, being the best mates of Ronnie Miller, will be watching anxiously, trying to help Miller pick out the points that will be vulnerable to the big Bulldog Brower. And there's a headbutt by Milano on to Bulldog, who's staggering, staggering. Milano again, headbutt. He staggers once more to centre ring. Can Milano finish him? A high knee lift. And this time, he staggers to the canvas. A body press. The count of two. Oh, bad luck to Milano again. Getting on towards the 15-minute mark. Close. Must be time shortly. Headbutt by Milano. And the staggering groggy Bulldog Brower is in the abdominal stretch again. This could be it. Dylan on the outskirts of the ring watches. Hello. Oh, the referee has called, has pulled Phillips in with him. He's pulled the referee in and allowing Milano to release the abdominal stretch. The referee is out. And from the second strand, the Bulldog flies through the air. A big knee drop to the back of the neck on to Mario Milano. The referee's out. What's going to happen here? What a sensation. Milano watches as the Bulldog climbs to the second strand. Look at Dylan. Here comes Ronnie Miller. Miller comes in. And look at the big champ go. Laying it on to Bulldog Brower. He comes in. Kicks to the head. Oh, boy, Tony Colone. What a match you got coming up next week between the Bulldog and Ronnie Miller. And here comes Larry O'Day. O'Day's in there trying to help Mario Milano. Oh, boy. This is a sensation today on World Championship Wrestling. And look at Dylan. Dylan's telling the Bulldog to get in there and do battle with the champ now. But you watch Dylan the Bulldog. They'll run for cover. You can bet your bottom dollar they'll run for cover. And the Bulldog now goes over towards the referee. Dylan's inside the ring but jumped out quickly. And this is not over yet. So stay with us because I want to see what's going to happen here as Brower gets up onto the steps. And Dylan comes in from behind and Miller's into it. And here comes the king. Curtis is coming in. And look at Miller, will you? Laying it out here. On to Bulldog Brower. King Curtis lending support there to Mario Milano. And there go he goes. There he goes. They're going to the dressing rooms. There they go. Dylan's had enough. And still in the ring is Ronnie Miller, who came to lend support to the referee. I'll ask the referee. Disqualification ref, was it? The referee's decision, a disqualification. The winner of the match, Mario Milano, with a disqualification against...